The ARC A770, after doing some testing for an hour or two this afternoon, performs very well on Battlefield 6 if you're using the appropriate settings and upscaling algorithm. Unfortunately, and kind of surprisingly, the A770 performed arguably the worst when using ZSS at any setting, with AMD's FSR implementation performing by far the best, besides just by linear upscaling the image when you lower the internal render resolution. Battlefield 6 also seems to perform fine with the screen space global illumination setting turned up, as opposed to other cards in this price tier, which struggle a bit more once the setting is kicked on. Leaving model quality at the highest level allows the game to look incredibly detailed both in terms of the environment and first-person models, and doesn't really seem to improve the performance even when we lower it. The post-processing setting is also kind of heavy on this card, and I suspect it has something to do with the depth of field blur in the game being tied to it. I actually preferred to leave it on the lower settings, because on higher presets, it causes the gun to get much blurrier when you're aiming down sights. Foliage and by extension the destruction quality, like the model quality, didn't seem to affect performance super heavily, but when this setting is combined with the high particle quality, the game on this card seems to kind of choke. It seems like you can only really enable one or the other, which to me is fine because the game still looks great even at these lower settings. Would I pick up the A770 for Battlefield 6? Actually, maybe for a 1080p higher refresh rate build or 1440p 60Hz machines, but this card definitely seems to struggle even when at the lower settings once you turn the resolution up to 4K.